my husband's birthday today. That sounds so weird to say. I just think birthdays are all about food, but that's that's something wrong with me, I think. Like the whole day is normally planned around food for me. So I asked G what he wanted for breakfast. He said omelette, <laughs> so I made an omelette this morning. It was a right fail, it didn't go well. And for lunch, we're going to a new vegan sandwich kind of deli bar that's opened up near us. So delicious, I'm so excited. And we've also got a really nice dinner planned for this evening, which I've kept secret, he doesn't know where we're going. Today's gonna be a very foodie vlog day. I will take you along for the ride. brand is called Witch Witch and it's fully vegan. Oh my god it smells so good. Whoa that is huge. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. So we got a Reuben which is, I can't remember what the meat was. It's like vegan pastrami. Gherkins and sauerkraut and vegan cheese. That looks even dirtier than I thought. We also got a filly. Oh my god, that is all you need. That is huge. Yeah. We could have just shared this. We got filly, which is one of their limited edition ones. Or what? <laughs> god. Come uh, on, appetite. Thanks, babe. <laughs> So this is the filly, which is like beef strips, peppers, and I want to say like mm. creamy cheese. And then this one is the Reuben, which I really lo liked last time. The filly. The filly is nice. Let's, let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, please. busy all day today. I've got three events. I just went to my first which was with Next. They've got a new showroom in central London so I went ahead and checked out some of the fashion and homeware pieces that they've got in at the moment and are coming out soon. So miserable. My brolly just like turned it inside out twice in a row but the, the yeah. Wind seems to have calmed down just a bit now. Um, I'm now on my way to my second event. It's with Juliet Has A Gun, one of my favorite perfume brands, and it's at Tonight Josephine in Waterloo, which is a bar that is so much fun for you and your girls if you want somewhere fun to go out. It's a great place for that. Oh, it's International Women's Day today, which is exciting. And then tonight, the most exciting of all, is I'm going to the UK premiere of Florence Pugh's new film and she's going to be there, directed by Zach Braff. Um, I've got my heels in my, in my tote bag to change into when I get there and G's meeting me there and I'm like the biggest Florence Pugh fan so I'm freaking out that I'm going to be in the same room as her. Um, yeah, very exciting stuff. But first, I'm a bit early for the next event but I'm going to head there and find a little cafe to bunker down in and do some work beforehand. Look at my hair. Yeah.
music with you uh, coming back. So we hope you enjoy it and, uh, after the film. Uh, I've been watching it about a year, and the last time we watched it, people was with friends giving notes, and it was kind of a surreal, amazing experience. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, We'll be watching the back of your heads really eagerly. <laughs> so do lots of facial expressions. Um, but yeah, uh, and then what happened was uh, we made a. Uh, this is a good thing for me to know as a young film student too. We made a. Um, we made a video to kind of show what the film would be to friends, all of us here, and all of you here. So this is what I wore tonight. It is really gorgeous, kind of like high neck long sleeved maxi dress from Zara with this really nice cut out detail. I really like this. I am wearing some Spanx to like clinch me in, but I feel like it's a really nice winter going out dress. And I'm just wearing it with lots of earrings and my hair up in the top knot. I did have some heels on as well. Okay, who here likes Joe the Juice? I've never been a massive fan. I remember my old Bessie was obsessed with Joe the Juice, only because there was a really hot guy that she really fancied that worked there when we were at uni. The most of my knowledge about the place, but one of their sandwiches has gone viral recently. Everyone's been making it on TikTok, so I thought for lunch today I'd try it out. It's called a tuna cardo, but I think you can also get it with chicken. Um, and it's basically pesto, tuna, mayo, avo, toms. It sounds really good, so we're gonna go out and get the ingredients for lunchtime today. This is not part of the recipe, but they're my favorite things ever. Oh my God, they are so expensive right now. Hot dogs are so expensive at the moment. Thank you. Everything is so expensive at the moment. Did any eagle eye viewers catch my onion chopping hack in last week's vlog? It's uh, a bit life changing. So what you do, can you see that? My camera's really broke so I can't really see what I'm doing on it. What you do is you chop like down, like loads of little lines. Oh, you're not supposed to break it apart. I just did. And then you chop like that, maybe once or twice. And then you chop like this and it's diced into very small sections look it's very very good trick it saves you a lot of time especially if you're cooking kilograms of onions like I normally do when I volunteer at my food bank place so the recipe oh my god my camera is so broke the recipe I watched on TikTok, I'll leave down below but he makes his tuna with like onion a little bit of mustard mayo and parsley i don't like parsley so i want to just chop a tiny bit of coriander up i think that'll be a very nice touch and also i feel like you could definitely add some heat in like you could definitely mix in some sriracha i've seen people doing or some jalapenos or even pickled red onion as well a tiny bit of coriander because i do freaking love coriander yeah. And jeans on red duty. We couldn't find like the thin slices that Joe the Juice used, but we could. We did find ciabatta, so we're doing a bit of a chunky bread thing. A little bit of lemon juice. That was quite a lot. as well. Tuna? Tuna is veg. tuna mayo. Yeah. What's not to like? G is on bread duty. He does the best grilled bread. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh my god, that looks insane already. Do you reckon we need another tomato? What one's mine? This one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you like your ends. <laughs> I do like my ends. Bro, did we damage this already? No, this is an old camera, isn't oh. it? 
bit of black pepper. Ooh. Ooh, now we're talking. Oh, wow, look at this. And then we'll cut it in half. <gasps> yes. Oh, that is huge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really, really great. Right. Mmm, the bread could be crunchier. Second. The bread could be crunchier. Mmm. I think the original is like very crunchy, toasty bread. Mm. But it's delicious. I have decided to take the afternoon off of my laptop and instead do some decluttering. So I am going to post some clothes that I took pictures of ages ago and that I've still got hanging up downstairs onto Vinted. And then I'm going to photograph some more and put them up on Vinted. I'm also doing, I started this week, the 30 day declutter challenge in your home where on day one you get rid of one thing, on day two you get rid of two things. Um, if you continue every day like increasing by one, you'll in the end get rid of like 400 and something things, which is incredible. It's day three. I'm not doing it chronologically because I find that my motivation sometimes is a bit all over the shop. So I got rid of, I think, 13 things on day one, six things yesterday on day two, and today we'll see how many things I managed to get rid of in one session. So I need to do that as well at some point. It's making me feel really inspired and encouraged to like downsize. I'm kind of looking at things in a new light and thinking if I wouldn't repurchase this now then I don't really want it in the house so I got rid of some books and some like little home ornaments yesterday and I was like they're just not like I wouldn't buy these now I wouldn't I wouldn't buy them so why are they in my house so yeah what am I doing what am I doing I came up here for something <laughs> I'm gonna sit and put some of these things on depop and then I can show you some more things that I'm deciding to get rid of. I'm gonna sit in my office chair for this. It's been about an hour and a half and I've just finished listing everything that I previously took pictures of on Vinted. See, so yeah, there's some stuff up there but I'm hoping to have some time tomorrow to do some more. So hopefully by the time this video goes up, there will be more stuff up on there. Let me show you what it's looking like. Vinted is so easy. I've just tried to do something on eBay, like an electrical item and it just, it's so clunky, like the app makes it so difficult. So Vinted is such a breeze in comparison. But I've got some really nice lasers and like old dresses that I've worn. These really nice ones from Zara, which I missed the returns date on. This three piece suit set. Yeah, I've got some really nice stuff on there and hopefully there'll be more soon. But now I need to try and declutter for my declutter challenge. So I thought I'd quickly go through one of my makeup drawers because it's been a while since I sorted through these and I know that there's a lot of products I can get rid of. So firstly, this drawer, I haven't used any of these probably in about a year so I can definitely sort through some of these. These are all like colour correcting concealers. So two purple ones, like I just don't, I don't use these. To be fair, I think all of them could go. Oh my god, I'm being so good. I hate getting rid of pretty stuff like this. Fills me <laughs> with so much joy. I should have a new camera coming tomorrow, guys. So don't you worry. The quality of these vlogs will get better. But yeah, this is a Touche Clap from YSL. It was a limited edition one. And it's never been used. And it's got diamonds like sparkles on it. Also this one. Oh my god, I loved this one. This was another limited edition one. With a leopard print so nice i think yeah i did use that like i just want to keep that just because it makes me very happy <laughs> one two three four five six seven con color correcting concealers this is the drawer we're working with a lot of old foundations some of them are brand new some of them have been open a while so this is a concealer i would quite like to try again so I'll put that in there oh I always find it so difficult now the colour correcting concealer I can definitely get rid of whoa look at my concealers down here 
this to the floor. <laughs> Get rid of that. Oh, I've been looking for a new one of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of all of them. This can definitely go. Just have a look if there's any lip balm. Lip balmy things I can get rid of. Definitely this one. I'm going to get rid of this red liquid lipstick from Buxom. I don't even know if that's a brand anymore. I am such a hoarder. It's unreal. Why is there mascara in here? could definitely get rid of those. Okay, day three. 28 items. I think I'm done now. I've separated them into two categories. Ones that I need to chuck because they're a bit old and ones that are kind of new and that I can give away to friends and family. I've got some Bare Minerals lip gloss only because I just don't wear lip gloss. I've got a couple of pixie bits and yeah. I feel like that's quite good for day three. Saturday morning and G has got together and messaged our neighbours to see if anyone would be interested in doing some litter picking with us because our road recently has just got so bad like people were littering all over the shop and it's all, it's like gross so we thought we'd get the gear in and some litter pickers and some gloves and see if anyone else on the road wants to spend 10 20 minutes just quickly tidying that's what we're going to do now we don't actually know if anyone's going to join us but me and me and g are going to go and sort our neighborhood out which i feel good about it's a good deed of the day isn't it we are done and one neighbour came to join us which was so good yeah we were out there for so long that my hair is nearly dried now which is handy we bought some cheese yesterday to have a little indoor picnic today which I'm so excited about so I think we're gonna walk to our local coffee shop pick up maybe like I fancy like a cheese pastry like a savoury pastry um to have with our indoor picnic because it's lunchtime now and then we've got a little bit of a date night tonight which I'm really looking forward to so i need to style my hair at some point for that coffee definitely hi can we get a normal flat white and an oat milk plato please someone's already littered back can of beer that is so annoying it's gonna be sweet you reckon the pistachio one looks amazing i've not done a great presentation with the cheese board but we've got our pastries and some bread and some grapes hummus and dip oh crisps i've just done my makeup i am so late to the trend of beauty blenders what the hell i just did my like powder with a beauty blender just to finish it off and my skin looks flawless why have i not done that before <laughs> where is it where's the one i used here it is it's like a little purple beauty blender i think it changes color when it's wet this one and then i've also got this little one from real techniques which is like a travel one so it you can put the lid on like that and then I just use that to like blend my concealer in but what a handy little product like when it's in your bag it's so small 
can I do it one handed? Tiny. I need to do that more often. I need to put some lipstick on because at the moment I've only got um, a lip liner, pillow talk I've got on. So I need to put on some lipstick and choose what I'm wearing for this evening as well. We're going to a restaurant called Inca London, which is South American with like entertainment. So it's like a proper night out vibes. I had a look at the menu and it's super expensive. Like the food is really pricey but i'm hoping it will be delicious as well so weird on camera i look really um like i've got too much makeup on i guess i have got too much makeup on okay i've just come up to my office to touch up my makeup but this is kind of what i'm thinking of wearing tonight it's a really old white lacy top that i've had i've had this since like 2000 and 16 it's one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe i'll try and link something similar below and then this skirt i've had since 2018 and i've got my fleecy tights on that look like skin but in actual fact it's just fleece and then i've teamed it with some pointy boots and um, the only problem with these fleecy things is they make my legs like a lot thicker so it looks like my boots are too tight but it's actually just the fleece and then I've tried to do like a scruffy updo, which I need to learn how to <laughs> do some more hairstyles this year. Um, I'm just going to touch up my makeup quickly and then I think we're ready to go. For perfume this evening, I'm going to spritz Ellie Sab's Girl of Now. This is the Eau de Parfum, I think, rather than the EDT. Mm -mm -mm. Just boiling a kettle so I can make myself a peppermint tea. I'm going to make myself a tea pig's peppermint. This is the best peppermint tea, it's so minty. 